The Gray Muzzle Program is something that we at the Fox Valley Humane Association started a couple years back um, when we realized there was an influx of senior pets coming through our doors. You'd be surprised, the age of a gray muzzle animal is actually seven years and up. We had a dog named Brandy, this beautiful golden retriever, at the shelter, eight and a half years old. She was adopted and her mom said, never let an old dog tell you they can't learn new tricks because within two years, this dog had become her service animal and could ac actually detect latex in a room, which was something she was highly allergic to and kept her mom safe. This is Evelyn. She's a nine-year-old female pit bull. She's named after my grandmother. I think personally, because they have more to offer than a lot of people think when they think they think a lot of older dogs are just going to lay around and not really do much. Whereas her, she loves to go on walks, we go on hikes, go running, stuff like that. She came from Chattanooga, Tennessee, where they found her abandoned. She was tied up to a fence post with all her teeth grinded down to her gums, so I guess I mean, it's a better life than that, so she has a warm place to stay at night, food, water, all that stuff. It's always a partner to do something with, whether it is just laying around watching TV or going for a walk, going running. Evelyn personally comes with me pretty much everywhere I go, so if I just go downtown to go eat or go shop or somewhere like that, she'll come with me, so it's just always someone to do something with. This is Mabel. We wanted to adopt an older pet because they're easier to take care of, there's less training involved. They need a home. They don't ask for much. You know, there's not a lot of taking them out every hour. There's not a lot of having to go on, you know, 20 mile walks to get them tired enough out so they don't destroy your house. They're pretty happy the way they are. And they'll give you unconditional love. They, you know, they'll attach right to you. Because, you know, most gray muzzle animals have been in homes and for some reason ended up in the shelter. The Gray Muzzle Fund is an important program because it supplies the necessary medical needs for older dogs to live a longer, healthier, senior citizenship. <laughs> it's important for the community to think about adopting these senior pets or even donating to the funds. Um, you think about the, the medical team's time, the medications they need, the surgeries they need to, to live. It costs on the average about $500 per animal to get fully rehabilitated. A lot of people just want a puppy, so it helps bring it, they kind of look over these senior dogs, so it helps bring them more into the public light so people can see them give them more exposure, a better chance of getting adopted, and people can see that they are great dogs even though they are older. They still want to play. They still want to be part of a family. You know, just because a dog is old doesn't mean that it's not useful. I mean, she fits right in with your family, moves you know, a little slower than others, but um, sometimes you need to learn to slow down. Like with your, you know, as everyone gets older, you slow down. You know, it just kind of helps you with your priorities sometimes of, uh, just slowing down, just letting her sniff, you know, smell the roses. The thing about them in terms of a human, they'd be like a grandparent or someone who has a lot of wisdom and knowledge to share with you. So that's how I look at it personally.